The whole goal is to get the king by himself. Do you remember that? It's like playing a game of chess. And that prune numeral in there, that's the king. We want to get him by himself. And then that's what it means to solve the equation. All right? So first one, who wants to give their hand up? Not to give you the answer, but what would be your next line after this? Nathan, hey, pick you first up. Um, I put my next line as 13 plus 16 equals 29. Okay, so you've, what we've done, let's just pause for a second to see what Ethan's done. He's got this minus 13, that's, that's one of the pieces he needs to get out of the way, right? So that's over here on the right hand side. We want to get away from the left, put it on the right, okay? So that 13 plus 16 is the 29 which we just had over there. That's good. What does that leave me with on the left hand side? 10 R. Great, 2R. Fantastic. So that's what I'd expect most of you would do as your next line. If you wanted to get rid of the two first, that'd be okay. But you've seen, we're gonna end up with the same answer whichever way we go, okay? So now, sorry, put the nine back. Now I only have one more thing to do to get the R, the king by himself. Yeah, Adam. Divide by two on both sides. Fantastic. If I divide this by two, I'll just be left with R. And if I divide that by two, 29 divided by two, 14.5 or 14 and a half. They're both just different ways of writing the same thing. Thumbs up. Okay, very good. All right, number two, let's have a look. Here, I've got this three and this seven to get rid of. Which you guys reckon we should get rid of first? Yeah, I reckon the seven's a good thing, okay? Because um, I could multiply everything by three, but then my numbers will just get really big, okay? This is a minus seven. What's the opposite of minus seven? Plus, Plus seven. seven, very good. So when I do it on the left-hand side, it disappears. What do I get on the right? 10, because three yeah. plus seven is 10, and then I just have to get rid of the three. What am I gonna do next? Times. Multiply by three, so times, very good reason as well. So that gives me 30 on the right hand side. Okay, one more to go. This time, it's a bit, actually we don't have as many choices really. There's only really one direct thing you can do to get that M by itself. What will be our first step? Someone hasn't said anything yet. Someone, someone hasn't said anything yet. We've got a few people. Mentioned it here. Oliver, I know you've got this, or would you um, put it as your first line? Um, M, M plus 5 equals 36. Okay, fantastic. And you can all see what he's done, right? Where did the 36 come from? Sure, Multiplying by 4, right? Fantastic. And then to get rid of that, plus 5, I'm going to, opposite of plus 5? Minus, minus five. 5. Very good, Rose. So that's 31. Nailed it. Okay. And remember, of course, being that we've got one, two, three solutions, you always know that it, the solution is right because they should go back into the original equation. For instance, let's just give the, um, the first one a go, right? Uh, we said 14 and a half, 14 and a half. So if I said two times 14 and a half, take away 13. Hmm. Two times 14 and a half, you guys told me that's 29. You take away 13 and that gives you the 16, which is what we're expecting. Thumbs up, it works. And you can do it for the second and third ones as well. 